Hi guys, it's me again, Sunlight Guy. <laughs> yes, finally, another English edition video for me. Um, cause I got a comment just a few days ago by um, one of my viewers who asked why there hasn't been an English video for some time. Um, and I actually thought that they were not that popular, but apparently someone's asking for it. So I thought, well, um, maybe that's the right time to do a video I was planning on doing in English for quite a while. And um, it was quite fitting because she also asked um, for new um, Pretty Cure videos. And um, that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you my Pretty Cure collection, which is quite extensive. So um, this video is gonna be um, a little bit long. Um, I'm trying to keep it as short as possible um, and not to talk endlessly about each single item. So um, yeah, let's get going. <laughs> um, yeah, first I'm going to show you like in roughly chronological order of the Pretty Cure seasons um, all my Pretty Cure stuff that I have. So um, let's start. So now we are up here on my shelves and um, yeah, this is the first part of my pretty cure stuff that I have. This is um, yeah, mainly all things from the first two seasons, Futara Pretty Cure and Futara Pretty Cure Max Heart. Um, so there is the, um, yeah, forgotten the name. <laughs> Um, the card commune, yes, it's the card commune, um, the first transformation item, um, the rainbow bracelet, and the prism hopish from season one, yes, and um, yeah, the new commune from season two from Max Heart, um, the transformation item for shiny luminous and her brooch, and the I don't know anymore what these are called. <laughs> the rainbow sparkle something bracelets and two versions of a uh, shiny luminous um, hearty or baton and the other one is the normal one she uses in the anime and the this one um, is actually from one of the movies and um, this seems to be pretty rare I found this on on Japamart like years ago and I was like whoa that's a different version I've never seen that one before um, trying to zoom in a little bit, a little bit, <laughs> sorry, can't speak today. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just thought, well, that looks interesting, just buy it. <laughs> so, well, this is, oh uh, yeah, not so much from Pretty Girl Splash Star. Um, the two communes, the first one, the card commune, and then the, um, ah, this is the crystal commune, oh, I'm so... I'm so out of this. And then there's special items um, for their power up attacks. Yeah, stuff from uh, Yes Precure 5. Um, the Pinky Catch and the Dream Collect, and um, the Carry Bag for the Dream Collect with additional cards. And then is the uh, Dream Torch, and um, behind this is the uh, Symphony Set. And these actually combines, like the best in the anime. And some stuff from, yes, Precure 5 Go Go. Um, the new uh, transformation item with carry bag, the rose pact, the cure flirt, and the milky palette, milky roses transformation item, and the milky mirror, her attack item. And uh, yeah, that's for the first shelf. So. Moving to one of my uh, favorite seasons, this is from Fresh Pretty Cure. Again, the transformation item, um, this is like the brooch that they are wearing, and um, this actually speaks the, um, the transformation phrase. Um, another item, this is for Cure Scarlet especially, with um, her little Lincoln, and these are the Lincolns for the others. And then the Cure Stick and the Passion Harp. And my SH figure arts from Fresh Pretty Cure. As you can see from left to right, Cure Peach, 
cure berry, cure pine, cure passion, and cure angel peach. Um, I really love these figures. I hate the stands um, because they are lacking <laughs> in a lot of ways. Um, I prefer the newer stands, like from the Sailor Moon figure arts, but well, they work fine. I don't move them around, so they're just standing there. So moving on to Hard Catch Pretty Cure, um, the uh, the Kokoro perfume, the shiny perfume, um, again the brooch with the transformation phrase, um, the carry bag for the perfumes, um, the flower tagged, the shiny tambourine, Cure Moonlight's Kokoro pot, I think this is the second edition of this one, and I have two figure arts as well, I have Cure Sunshine and Cure Moonlight. I hope I will eventually get um, all the figure arts, um, like Blossom and Marine and their, and their super silhouette forms and so on. And there we have the toys for Sweet Pretty Cure. Um, the Miracle Belt here, the Fantastic Belt here, the two versions of the Cure module, this one for Melody and Rhythm, for Cure Muse. The Love Guitar Rod, one of my most favorite Pretty Cure toys, because um, I love Cure Beat, I think she's awesome. <laughs> and um, yeah, and the, uh, the, uh, the uh, yeah, <laughs> I always forget the name of this one, um, the special item, the, I don't know, forgotten the name. You see, I'm super prepared for this video. <laughs> and. And this is the Crescendo Fairy Tone, this is, um, this is a small Gashapon version. And there are additional Fairy Tones, these are in a clear version. Um, I never unboxed them, so I don't know if these uh, work like the normal Fairy Tones that come with the other toys. Well, anyways. <laughs> uh, you can see some additional stuff over there, but uh, I'm just doing a little break now. And we go further, like, chronologically. So. Uh, see you in a second. Yes, now I had to move down here. Um, as you can see, space is at a minimum in my place. And these are the um, Smart Pretty Cure stuff. There is the Smile Pact and the Deluxe Edition with all the... with, all, with the transformation decors and these other decors. Um, if you just bought the normal ones, these were available separately. But this was the deluxe edition, and so they are, um, yeah, <clears throat> so they are available then. Um, the, uh, yes, um, the decor book, uh, I just put it out of the um, box and just displayed it here, because there's no sunlight or anything coming in here, so it's quite safe. <clears throat> the, um, the ultra happy um, decor and... Um, and pad <clears throat> yes. the I think the, the super or still uh, the special decor um, yes this is also special for the princess forms with the crown and everything um, the princess candle the additional decors for their power up attack the royal clock is down here and this is just um, this is just like a collection box that you could also order and um, I put a lot of the other cure decors in here and there's still more in here and um, this is all the stuff from these uh, cure decor sets with all the, well, jewelry and stuff where you can insert them. So that's it for Smile Pretty Cure basically. <laughs> And then we go over to Doki Doki Pretty Cure, and uh, I'm sorry, the light is not that good. Ah, well, I think you can see it now. It's the lovely commune, the transformation item, um, with all the different faces of the different characters, um, all the Cure Loveeats that you could collect, um, the Love Eyes palette for Cure Ace, the Love A Kiss Rouge for Cure Ace, her attack item, the Love Heart Arrow, which I really like, and um, the magical lovely pad in the Deluxe Edition. Um, these two things uh, were also available separately, so in this Deluxe Edition you get them both. And um, this is actually a very nice toy, it has a lot of 
a lot of effects going on with this small um, LED screen. So, um, while Doki Doki is not my absolute favorite season, um, I like the toys, they are very well designed. Yeah, so that's for this little pretty cool corner down here, <laughs> and we go on to the next shelf in a second. Now we are on the next pretty cure shelf, and this is the stuff from Happiness Charge Pretty Cure. Um, as you can see, the, the Preacher and Mirror, the transformation item, um, Cure Honey's Honey Baton, um, the Love Pre Bracelet, I think it's called. <laughs> There's so many names for these items, I can't remember them all. And then of course the um, the piano and the tambourine for Cure Fortune. And also this is the pretty card file where as you can see all the the transformation cards are in here. <coughs> yeah, I put this all here. I have to say Happiness Charge is probably one of my least favorite um, pretty cure seasons. Um, I know that they did a lot of stuff to sort of commemorate like um, 10 years of Pretty Cure, but um, I don't know. I think the designs were pretty lame, the story was pretty lame, and um, well, it's not, it, it, it's one of my least favorite Pretty Cure seasons actually. And moving further down, we come to one of my all time favorite Pretty Cure seasons, and <laughs> this is the one from last year Go Princess Pretty Cure. I absolutely love Go Princess Pretty Cure. I think this was an amazing season. Um, and so I have displayed everything. So there uh, is the Princess Perfume with um, the standard dress up keys. There is the, um, the Crystal Princess Rod, um, which is a lovely item. I love this. And all the other keys. Um, Okay, the rose key, the lily key, um, the ice and bubble key, um, the luna and shooting star, uh, the hanabi and phoenix key, and this was an extra that I got when I ordered something. I think this is um, one of the keys from Twilight. <laughs> this actually also works with the princess perfume. And then going further down, of course, there is the... Um, Scarlet Violin and the Music Princess Palace, also the Deluxe Edition. Um, this Deluxe Edition includes the, the Royal Key, this one here. <coughs> if you just buy the normal version of this, um, this is available extra. Um, but the Deluxe Edition comes with the Royal Key and of course with the four Premium Keys. Uh, Sakura, Sango, Ginga, and Sun, and um, yeah, I love Go Princess Pretty Cure. I still watch it. Um, I just love this whole concept of dressing up as princesses and the concept of the keys and everything. And um, from the brand new season, Mahotsukai Pretty Cure. Um, so far, I only have this, the Linkle Stick. Um, it's a well-designed toy, and I like it as a toy. I'm still not so not quite so sure what to think about Mahotsukai and Pretty Cure. Um, it is a bit of a letdown after Go Princess. Um, I just have this feeling it's aimed at a much younger audience, and um, it, rem it reminds me a little bit of Dora Me from time to time. Um, I'm still not very much into it. Maybe it will get better, but. Um, so far I'm not a huge fan. So yes, this is everything from um, Go Princess Pretty Cure in this room. And um, I'm going to another room to show you the rest of the collection. So um, see you in a second. So there we are. This is actually our bedroom. <laughs> and um, this is everything, all the huge items that just don't fit on these shelves in, in the other room. Um, because they are so bulky and um, I just show you very quick. This is the um, The pretty commune from the first pretty cure season and then you have the miracle commune for Max Hart um, with the carry bag and um, The fairy carat from splash star. Unfortunately, this has a little bit of discoloration um, but 
it's very rare, so uh, I keep it as this. <laughs> and then these are, um, yeah, the fairy muskets from Doki Doki Pretty Cure. And so we have Shalalu and um, uh, Rakalu, Lance and Davi. And they're just sitting here keeping watch. <laughs> and then, oh, just oh, wait a second. <laughs> I'm gonna move up here. <laughs> So this is the other stuff, so this is the shiny dressmaker from Happiness Charge um, with the infinity microphone. Um, yeah, also a bit of a letdown because uh, as you can see it, it's basically a remake um, of this one. <laughs> so, um, The Queen's Chair from Max Hart and this is from Doki Doki, this is actually just um, a presentation thing for the, the Love Eats. Um, yeah, Marco P's, uh headset from Doki Doki Pretty Cure. Um, the. Ah, uh, what's it called? I know this one. <laughs> um, the Hard Catch Mirage, exactly, from Hard Catch Pretty Cure. Um, so you can see, um, this, the Shiny Dressmaker is basically just a copy of this one. Um, and this one's better. <laughs> yeah. And then a few other stuff. So there is. Um, Chipper and Coffre, so you can dress this one up as both of them from um, Hard Catch and uh, Potpourri and there is Glass Sun from um, Happiness Charge and what's this, what's this? Um, yeah, the music box, the, um, the Lucky Clover box from Fresh Pretty Cure, yeah, that's the name and I really like this item too, the Lucky Clover box yeah, so this is all the bulky stuff um, that just doesn't fit on the shelves in the other room and uh, so I keep it here. Um, also away from sunlight and from dust as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah, so as you can see, um, that's basically it. <laughs> that's my collection of um, Pretty Cure toys. Um, I have some other stuff, I have a few Pretty Cure mangas and I have a bunch of Pretty Cure soundtrack CDs but I think I'm going to show them um, in a separate video because otherwise this video will take much too long. And um, if that's the question, are there any things you're still looking for for your Pretty Cure collection? Um, there are a few things that I'm actually looking for. Um, one of them would be the movie version of the Cure Flirt from um, Yes Pretty Cure 5, um, which has like this um, gold stuff, but that's pretty rare. And when it comes up somewhere on eBay or Jabbermart, it's usually rather expensive. Um, and similarly, of course, I want to complete at least the figure arts from. Hard Catch Pretty Cure, and um, I would also love to get the figure arts from um, Sweet Pretty Cure, but of course they're all exclusives, so they are also rather expensive, and uh, and I think I will get the figure arts for Go Princess Pretty Cure. I believe Cure Flora is the first is the first to come out, so um, yeah, I think I will buy her, <laughs> and. Um, Let's see if the others come out as well, I'm sure they will, um, and how expensive they are. So um, yeah, those are the things that I would really love to get my hands on. Um, otherwise, maybe a few additional soundtracks, I'm a bit short on the vocal collections, um, so I would love to get some of these as well. Well, we'll see. I just have too many hobbies and not enough money. <laughs> okay. So, um, another of my videos in English is done. I've shown you my um, Pretty Cure collection. If you have any comments, questions, just put them down in the comment box. I'm um, very happy to read them and to answer them. And if you have any questions where you can get uh, Pretty Cure stuff and Pretty Cure items, um, especially the newer ones, just ask. I'm, I'm glad to help you out, guys. Okay. So, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it is not too long. And um, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.